Hey, it's Bob from PyBytes. Happy Monday. Uh, today, a video about GitHub Actions and how I set it up for PyBytes Carbon. Hope you enjoy it. Today, I want to talk about GitHub Actions. And um, a few weeks ago, we wrote this article, the benefits of using GitHub Actions, and it shows you the why and the how. And I think it comes down to when you have this set up on your GitHub repo. Uh, this automation will save you a lot of time and it will catch errors, especially when you work with a team. So there are some instructions here to set it up, but actually let's look at it in action. So here on PyBytes Alarm, a uh, little tool we just made, uh, we don't have it set up yet. And when you go to the Actions tab, uh, you see instructions how to set it up. And you can just use one of these templates. So for example, Python application, set up this workflow, and it will create the .github workflows directory and suggest making a python-app YAML file. And if you commit, it will just set this up with um, these defaults. So it's triggered on push to main and on pull request. So here you could actually change this to develop if you have a develop branch um, to have that extra step before getting code into the main branch. It uses Ubuntu latest. And here's the whole setup. Install your, so upgrade pip install your Flake 8 and PyTest. Um, sometimes you have those already in your development requirements. So you could actually do with this line alone if you have something like dev, then this would not be necessary. And the linting with Flake 8, which is very useful, and then run your test. And the cool thing is if one of these fails, then the build will fail and you get an email notification yeah, alarm bells go off. And I was setting this up for PyBytes Carbon earlier today. And yeah, it was a bit experimental. So I had a few fail builds. So let's look at a couple of failures we had. So this is how it looks. It runs through all these steps. And here I didn't set up the Chrome web driver yet, which I will show in a bit. And another failure was the um, Pi Tesseract, the Tesseract command not being found in the path. And I will show you the solution to that as well. So that's really cool. And then eventually it did work and I got a passing build, which looks like this, all green, all ran. So really cool. So how did I set it up for this repo? So again, using the template uh, .github workflows directory structure was created and the Python app YAML and the extra things I had to do for PyBytes Carbon, which basically is a tool that uses Selenium and headless mode. I've talked about it in previous videos and it will go out to the carbon.now.sh website and it will create this image and download it to your desktop. And that of course requires the Selenium web browser driver for that to work. So to the default template, I made the following changes. I also trigger this when there's a push to develop. So here I used an existing GitHub action, set up Chrome driver. Which does this. And you can just use actions from the marketplace by using this latest version. Of course, uh, be careful what you add. Don't add things blindly, but this one was very convenient. And I also installed Tesseract OCR and lib Tesseract dev in this container for that um, second failure I showed. Then install the development requirement and run Flake and PyTest. And as environment variable, I set the Chrome driver path explicitly because my code expects that environment variable. So really cool, a quick demo how this works. And on open source, we have a couple of other libraries that use this. Um, for example, KarmaBot, which has various workflows, coverage, safety, and test. And PyBytes reading list, a Django app that uses this very similar workflow, but it has some extra environment variables it required. So take a look at those and hope this was helpful and see you in the next video. Hey, it's Bob again. Hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you subscribe below to not miss any video we put out about Python and developer and mindset. A lot of good stuff to come. 
And if you have any feedback, comment below, as well as if you have ideas or requests for specific content, we love to uh, produce more. All right, have a great week.